guys, so this tutorial is going to be on curling your lashes. It is better to curl them before you put your mascara on because this way when you're putting it on, they will go upwards and it will be less clumpy. So if you put them on right away, like after you set your foundation and concealer on your eyes, if you just curl it and hold it there for about 10 seconds, and I usually blink once and then I open my eye and then I open it up and you can tell the difference when it's curled and when it's not curled and so I use afterwards I put cannonball on it is a waterproof mascara and you get it from Sephora and it actually helps like a lot I noticed that it's one of my favorite mascaras now because I used to have a lot of trouble finding different mascaras and I've always curled my lashes so I do notice a big difference and it really helps um, also, it helps with putting on fake eyelashes. I don't really wear them, but whenever I would wear them, I would curl them before because then it will blend it in more. And then take a, um, like a coat of mascara just so that it all blends in. So curling your lashes is good for your eyelashes because it like clumps them more near the waterline so that they'll all go up and they won't like flake into your eye. Because I've noticed before, I used to never use the eyelash curler, and when I was putting on my mascara, it would just like usually go outwards, and then during the day, I'd have a lot of like flakes from my little, like the smaller eyelashes, and they like fall in my eyes, and it's not pretty. So this really helps, and the best ones to use are like the acrylic ones, like the acrylic metal. They're the best ones. The plastic ones don't really do anything. And you can sometimes get the replacements from inside of them. And they're just easy. Like, you just put them in like this. And they're just little, like, plastic. Actually, I have no idea what's in it. But I got mine from Avon. And I have used other ones where the top part is, like, a lot thicker. It's like that. And it makes your eyelashes literally not curl, but they just go straight up and like, uh, it's just not pretty. <laughs> I don't like using the tall, the taller ones, and I don't like using the plastic ones. I just don't think that they work as well. So I use Cannonball for my top lashes, and I don't curl my bottom lashes. It's just weird. You don't curl your bottom lashes. And I use Too Faced Pinpoint. It is like a smaller brush, so it helps a lot with the bottom lashes. I will show you. See how they curl up? Yes, they curl upwards, and the bottom ones aren't as long, but that's just natural. So, I figured that this cannonball is my favorite one because it's not clumpy at all. And as many coats as you put on, it, there's no clumps, and it's just such a nice brush. See, it has like the little bristles, but they're not the plastic bristles, like they're still just the normal ones. Um, curling your lashes isn't really good afterwards because, like after you put your mascara on, because it just clumps them and it makes them look more messy and they don't look as like nice and clean like mine do right now because I curled them before I put the mascara on. Sometimes I'll curl them after, but make sure it's dry because if you use your eyelash curler and then put your mascara on and then go right again and curl them, your eyelashes will get stuck in the corners of the eyelash curler and it hurts. Like I did it one time I was in the middle of class and I just put on my makeup before I go to lunch or something like at the end of 15 minutes and I will put it on and then my eyelashes got stuck and it really hurts. So make sure they are dry before. But I don't recommend it because they're just clumpy. But if you prefer clumpy and thicker, then do that. Go ahead. But I just wanted to make a quick little video on eyelash curlers and hopefully it'll help you. Okay, bye.